Hello there. This is a tutorial on how to repair a Nintendo Switch whose Joy-Cons, either the left and or the right Joy-Con, no longer attach. And you've already tried to use all of the software solutions to repair the connection. This is going to be a hardware fix. It's not anything particularly difficult or involved. It does involve having some tools to make this work. First off, um, this is just for educational purposes. I'm not responsible for if you damage your own device. This is just what I did to fix my device. Things you will need include some form of isopropyl alcohol. The higher the alcohol content, the better. You can often get 96% in a lot of um, drug stores and grocery stores. And you'll also want, I've already used this one, you'll also want some a Q-tip, something with cotton. Now you could use something else, but this one is less likely to actually damage the contacts that we're going to be fixing. So the issue with my Joy-Con is that the right one, the pink one in my case, would work, it would charge, it would connect wirelessly, but as soon as you connected it, it did not show the animation indicating that it was connected. And the blue one would, and it would still work, but this was really annoying when you were using this in portable mode. So I tried the software fixes, those didn't work. So I wanted to figure out how the Joy-Con actually connects. And what I finally figured out is that, and it's kind of, let's see if we can get this in frame, underneath this metal area, there are gold contacts. Let's see if we can get that, there we go. It's kind of hard to see, I'm trying to get it in frame here. There you go, you can see those are metal contacts. Those appear to be gummed up and a little bit corroded. Because of that, I went, used my computer systems integration uh, experience to realize that those probably need to be repaired. So I went, I got these um, Q-tips that I happen to have around and I had some alcohol. And what I did was I added a little bit of alcohol to the Q-tip and then I went in and inside. I just went in and out. Don't try not to go side to side if you can avoid it, that might damage the contacts. And another thing that you can use is compressed air. And you can use some you know, standard can of compressed air. Do not hold the can sideways. Try to keep it upright as much as possible. And just give it a couple of quick blasts in a nice ventilated area. Okay, so that was for the Joy-Con, but Joy-Con is not the only thing with contacts. Inside the switch itself, there are also contacts. Let's see if we can get that in frame. And that's what they attach to. It's kind of hard to see, but they're down there, over there. These contacts should also be cleaned. You must have the switch turned off to avoid any causing any sort of electrical shorts or causing any damage. Um, you really, really, really want to make sure that it's completely actually turned off. And again, you can take the other side of the Q-tip and because it probably got grimy at that point, mine get, get quite grimy. And do the same thing again. I don't recommend going side to side or anything like that. You just go in and out with the moistened Q-tip. I did get rid of some of the corrosion and then a, that compressed air, while not absolutely necessary, can be really helpful. Uh, just a squirt or two to make sure that there's no dust. And now, it doesn't matter if the Joy-Con is on, excuse me, it doesn't matter if the switch is on or off at this point. Now, when I get to the click, you can hear the click sound, the animation, just like the previously functioning blue one. So there you have it. This is how you repair a corroded connections on a Joy-Con for a standard Nintendo Switch. 
let me know if you have any questions or if this worked for you in the comments. Thank you.